From Las Vegas, Nevada, it's Pete Allman's Celebrity Scene News, covering Hollywood, Las Vegas celebrities, sports, and hot news. Now, here's your man on the scene, Pete Allman. And welcome back to Celebrity Scene News. We're here at the Santa Vegas Film Festival, Mr. Dennis Hopper, and we're honoring young people, young people in filmmaking. They gave them a crash course. How long have they been doing this, Dennis? How long have I been doing this? No, how long have the kids been doing this, and how long have they had this program? Well, they've had this program for five years since I've been here, so um, every year they bring another little film. And uh, uh, this year they made a little film called uh, where are the girls? I think it's where the girls are or something like that. And uh, uh, they work together, they write the script, they, they, uh, they act in it, uh, they direct it, they, they make the whole process of uh, filmmaking. So it's a really wonderful experience for them and I think it's one of the terrific things that we do here at the festival. It's about a seven week course as I understand. Yeah, about that, right. In Hollywood, as you know, because I'm there half of the time anyway, uh, they're doing a lot of things in motion pictures of uh, conserving energy and going green and things of that nature. As I understand it, uh, what do you know about that? Not much. My wife is very involved, though. She's in the United Nations uh, environmental uh, program, so she's uh, on the chair, one of the chairs of that. So she's very involved in it. Yeah. Yeah. What's your opinion about how filmmaking has changed from, you know, those old movies of Gary Cooper and all the way to, to what's happening today. Do you think they've improved technically big time? And and what do you feel about the kind of content that they're putting together for motion pictures, especially for those that are on television? Well, you know, I started, I went under contract to Warner Brothers in 1954. So I've been, uh, I've been in the business a long time and we make movies the same way. We uh, do close-ups, two shots, over the shoulders, long shots. Uh, we lay a dolly track, we have cranes. The only probably invention that's really come along is the steady cam and a couple of different kinds of cranes. But we still make movies the same length and the same way. And uh, I don't know, but uh, if you look at those old Gary Cooper movies, they're pretty good, <laughs> you know? And I'm not saying today's films aren't, but I think that uh, I don't think that, that, that certainly the process of the way we make movies has not changed. It's just the people that have changed. We have a studio behind the Palms, a friend of mine, uh, Joseph Murphy, who has made, produced over 400 pictures, uh, beef movies, now he's going into the A movies. But what I've noticed is that uh, a lot of film companies are coming to Vegas. You're in Vegas because of the Santa Vegas Film Festival. You run it, more or less. You're on the board, advisory board. So you think that that's going to improve? I think, or do you think that Hollywood's going to remain where it's at and India as far as filmmaking goes? Well, you know, there's so many, uh, there's so many different states now giving great advantages, like New Mexico. I'm in New Mexico right now making a series, uh, A Crash. It's our second season. I'm doing 13 episodes there, and we're shooting Los Angeles and Albuquerque because Richardson has made such a good deal for us there. Oh, the tax credits, yes. Yeah, the tax credits, and uh, they will actually finance up to $15 million if they accept a project, and uh, without any kind of uh, uh, taxation on the money, uh, uh, you have five years to pay it back. So, like, you know, and 35, per, if you hire people from, from the area, from New Mexico, technicians, you get 35% of the uh, salary back from them. So it's a tremendous, uh, well, there's more films being made in New Mexico than there are in Los Angeles right now. And there are various, a lot of other states doing that. So it's just, you know, you go where you can make the best deal. And uh, uh, a lot of films are still shooting in the United States, but they're not shooting in Los Angeles. I think we only have two films working in right at the moment. Here's a very interest po interesting point about movies, and that is, for example, let's talk about Hollywood. Like a friend of mine does a lot of movie specials, and he says, Pete, it's controlled by the Jewish people. And he says, and he, and he says to me, he says, quite frankly, you know, it's a click. And, uh, and young people that are getting into this business have to understand the situation. I don't know how true this is, but you've got a lot of young people here that got a crash in filmmaking. Your thoughts, though? I say, thank God it's controlled by the Jewish people because they made a wonderful industry for us. And they're great with entertainment and they're so generous uh, with their time. I've had nothing but a wonderful time. I've had a nothing but a wonderful time here in this community in Vegas and also in Hollywood. And I've had tough times with them. It's not easy, but uh, they love entertainment. 
and they always have. And it's, uh, it's, it's been a great experience for me. So we're going to leave on the broadcast now, but uh, two things. One, you, the, the series that you're working on now? It's called, it's called Crash. It's from the, uh, from the film that uh, won all the Academy Awards a few Best Picture and Best Screenplay a few years ago. Okay. And any advice you want to give to the young people or people getting involved in this crazy business? Just follow your dream. You'll get there. Dennis, it was great seeing you again. Thank you. Good to see you. Have a blessing. Thanks for watching Celebrity Scene News with Pete Allman. Until next show, keep your visions positive and check out our website at www.celebritycene.com.